I'm gonna say Smash 4, because we're all thinking it. <laughs> Smash 4. This is kind of Smash 4, man, I'm not gonna lie. Taking us back a little bit. Except they're on Pokemon Stadium, so I guess if they started Smash Bros, then you could say that. Yes, Thank God we have Pokemon Wadi's Stadium, Mewtwo. Why is Mewtwo? He's been going on Mewtwo this whole tournament. Looking really good. But I gotta say, man, like I have not seen this matchup in Ultimate. I can only theory craft based off of the previous game. And that might not be very effective considering how different both these characters are now. It's kind of crazy too, because oh, oh that roll costed him. That's yeah, that roll was different. That roll was, that roll was different. different. <laughs> in a bad way. He got caught out hard. Actually, Frog's really good at uh, getting those forward smash roll punishes. I saw him get that a lot last week as well. Yeah, part of what made Mewtwo pretty strong in this matchup though is that he could play a really strong defensive game against Bayo, uh, especially with her approaches, mainly being uh, ABK and things of that sort. Yeah. Shadow Ball, I know Smash can punch that really hard. That's you also could you kill have to look at. Really, uh, early too. Yeah. That's what you kind of have to look at too, is Bayo's approach options, and you have to figure out the best way to punish them and or with punish him. And like you said, Shadow Balls are one of those really good tools Mewtwo has. I was good on Frog to try to get that read. But yeah, Shadow Ball is one of those really good options that Mewtwo has to kind of stop things like dash attack, heal slide, um, ABK, whether you're going for quarter circle ABK or you're going from aerial ABK. Yeah, but none of that matters right now because Frog's pretty much rolling over Wadi right now. He's just hitting everything he needs to. He, he got a few long combos, but even outside of missing a lot of those now, he's just been playing neutral really well. Punishing Wadi with just these solid hits. Yeah, Musa is still pretty big body though, so he has to SDI. Uh, Pretty on point to avoid taking a lot of damage from Wish Swiss AVK. Yeah. Because of that sort. Oof, whiff grab here. That's good for Frog to kind of get in with AVK. I talked about it. You can use an aerial, quarter circle, you name it. It's big for Frog here. That's going to be a Wish Twist, not a full conversion. All I'm waiting is for Frog to go for his first Wish time and take the stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he hasn't used it yet. I, I know why he. He might not see it coming. Oh, but nice punish. Yeah, if you bounce off the ledge like that with the side B from Bale, you're, you're really helpless from a lot of characters. Oh, Ooh, the forwarder. Yeah, that's it. Speaking of being helpless, you're off stage against Bale in the blast zone? Yeah. <laughs> you most definitely you, you guys, You guys know how this goes. <laughs> you know how this story goes. <laughs> Especially Wadi. Wadi had his fair share of this uh, matchup before. I kind of agree with moving bricks. Mew doesn't really struggle to kill Mewtwo. You look at Mewtwo as a character, relatively light, tall hair box. His tail is already like a double-edged sword, literally and figuratively. Like, it's it's one of those things where like Wadi does an excellent job of using Shadow Ball to supplement the weakness that Mewtwo has against Bale, where he kind of has to preferably play mid-range, which I could see a Rob switch, but I'm going to eat my words here because I know Wadi really wants to play Mewtwo. No, I mean, on. when I say Bayo throws a kill Mewtwo, I'm obviously talking about if the Mewtwo's, like, you know, DI'ing well, plus they're just playing very, very good keep away. I, I mean that. I don't mean, like, her moves are not going to kill him if they hit. Yeah, That's what yeah. I'm talking about. I, I was going to say to the, to the Twitch chat, man, the bets are up, dude. You guys got a minute and 45 seconds. Frog with 70%, Wadi with 30. 25k on Wadi, 60k on Frog. Where are the bets at, man? You guys got time. Anyways. I still don't think that should last that long. It should be like before the first match even starts. I'm gonna be it's real. Already... I'm, I'm gonna be real. I uh, I accidentally scuffed at the time there. I'm trying to get better at it though. <laughs> Anyways, Frog with an excellent wish for to come here on that 138. Wadi looking to touch his feet on the ground, but Frog returns in kind, man. The stage is mine to hold here, and Wadi's gonna use that teleport to come back, grab the ledge. I like that patience here because Frog was looking for something like back air or a smash attack. Okay. Not gonna die the fourth throw just yet. And avoids the bullets off stage. Yeah, good good see that's what's good for Ooh no. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, we're living. Pulled? Okay. I'm surprised that hit. Yeah, same. Good for Shadow Ball, though. That forces Frog to go for a jump. This could have been a call out from Wadi. Missed opportunity here. It's going to be Frog gets the fourth throw here, 166. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That'll do it. That'll a do blending it. Blending lag there from the air dodge and everything. Man, remember when being meta in Smash 4 meant you had a kill throw? Crazy times. Anyways. More what like kill throw, combo throw. Yeah, it was like a kill throw, <laughs> combo throw. Good for oh. Things like that. <laughs> oh. Big witch twist? Yeah, Where that's... Going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where's your rest of the Tough. It's, it's not easy to SDR me too though. Mm. He's still so big. Dude, remember remember when got, the invitational gotta do it. You definitely gotta do it. Remember the invitational when Plump died for our sins? It was literally a factor of Ridley was too big and the stage was my, too small. My head cannon is Plump knew how to DI but he didn't. He knew he, he was stealing us. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Kawadi looking for the recovery. I think it was like a team combo from Leo and oh oh wow. It was a team combo for me. Unfortunate. Wadi went way too low. He did go too low. He did go too low. I was a little too low to recovery. I definitely respect it, though, because the way that Frog had this man, dude, he had this man schmixed up. You could tell that Wadi struggled to SDI out of that combo, but he struggled to just get out of Bale's opportunities. That was really, really rough for Wadi. If you look at I think I think Sock said it pretty well, dude. He's going to stop with some of these Shadow Balls. If you're going to play mid-range, maybe the tail in the neutral air as punishes are better, but we'll see, man. I'm, I'm telling you, if I were Wadi, maybe uh, you might want to hover that cruiser over and Rob and see what Rob does for you, but... Ultimately, here, I man. Rob does that much better in Bale, honestly. No, I, I don't either. That's actually one of his worst matches, I think. I think it would be better for Wadi as a character. He also has a Wii Fit, so that's a, that's another character you can definitely pull out out of the yeah, bag. But I think it, I don't think that's gonna happen at all. Like I think if he's already been playing on Mewtwo this whole tournament, he's just gonna stay Mewtwo. Otherwise, like, why would he wait till now to? Switch to Robin. Yeah, switch to Rob. He could have switched to Robin Winners or something. Yeah. I, yeah. I, think, I think by that logic of extension. Oh, Gunner. Okay. I was going to say, by that logic of extension, yeah, you're definitely right. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. Look at the chat, too. Oh. Gunner. Uh, I didn't see, know he man. played this. Oh, he plays Cuphead. He plays Cuphead, right. Gunner. <laughs> Respect plus 10. I yeah. think if you're gonna play this character, you have to at least play the, the cool costumes. Yeah, you either have to play the Geno, the sad Geno main color, that's our costume, or the Cuphead mm. costume, and of course, the, the crowd favorite, the Sans costume. You got three excellent choices, what? man. You either make the Geno fans. Alright, you said sad. you said all that and didn't say Barrett. Hello? Oh, yeah, Barrett. The guy off the mic. I, for, I forget about Barrett, man. I'm so sorry. I forgot it's a costume. Dang, we didn't get Barrett on the Switch yet, huh? Terrible. I can't remember oh right man. Now. Dang, why do you like even with the me gunner, he's still struggling to get out of these combos most of the time. Look, it's look taking at, a lot of percent. Yeah, gunner's weight is just really good for Bayo, but I think when Wadi is looking for his opportunities to get traps like that, because the way he had the bomb set up there was good enough for the voice mash. Up air close. That's why I don't like that bomb in this game. You can actually just hit it back at his face. You know, a lot of people seem to forget that too, because there's also an initial hit from the bomb itself, then the bounce, and then the explosion. So you have to really be considered about that. Go for Wadi to use it as a landing opportunity. I like how he goes for that opportunity. He catches Flog just running up on the shield. What a call up with the up smash. Alright, this is it's completely unrelated. Mm. Oh, I got out of that. He matrix dodged it. But. <laughs> It's completely unrelated, but Cuphead's little smile as he's camping you is just so funny to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Just so funny. And I just this this model of Cuphead is just fits so well too. It's so game. well done. That's an smash. Oh, you're dead. He felt himself a little bit too much. Try to go too aggressive against Veo, 
and you already know they're hitting that down beat. Yeah, good for him to still use the bomb. Like I said, you can hit it. It can be hit back, but it's still good because it forces your opponent to either interact with it or stay on the ground. And then it does buy Wadi some time here. You're looking at a two stop. The closest opportunity he's had so far. But Frog definitely making sure the percents are sorry, the percents are climbing. Goes for an up throw, yeah. looking to see if Wadi how Wadi's gonna land. Yeah, I can't even remember last time Wadi had percent lead in this set. <laughs> he's just been on the back foot almost the entire time. He took a back Speaking foot. Back foot. He took a back foot to the face. The L-Till back there is going to connect very consistently. And now Frog, man, he's, he's one stock away from Sammy Wadi packing 3-0. I think the winner of this will play Riley too, so... I don't think... Uh, I, I don't think... Frog will mind fighting a, another big body with Bale if he wins this. Yeah. Let's see, though. Wadi's still, still in this game. Gets that four smash punch on the landing lag from the specials. Going up again though. I feel like Wadi has taken max damage from like witch time combos almost every time. <laughs> Yet to even touch Frog on this stock. Trying to get back to the stage. And he just rolls right into the back air. No percent taken. Wadi's out of here. Cuphead. Cuphead didn't have the right equipment, man. He needed those other power-ups. Like, where, where's that one That one movie he has that blows up the whole screen? He needed that. <laughs> he has one that's, like, disappearing. So, like, when he dashes initially, instead of a dash, yeah, he, he Yeah, he needs that. Yeah. He needs that. It'll bro. be a vanish. 